Hi, today we're talking with Quentin Tarantino. Uh, you, most of you know him as a world famous movie director. <laughs> Actually, today we're talking with <laughs> Ken Fry. He looks exactly like Quentin Tarantino, but Ken Fry is not a <laughs> movie director. He is a master woodworker. Welcome, Ken. Thank you. So tell me your story about becoming a master woodworker. Uh, what got you interested? What was your path? Well, it started at an early age. Um, back in high school, I was taking wood shop. And even prior to that, I uh, would see museums as a little kid. And looking at furniture, I was just amazed at the craftsmanship. And so I was drawn to this trade at an early age. So you, you were drawn to the woodworking part or to the artistic part? Um, both, actually, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And, and what was the key thing that allowed you to have your vocation or career well, be a woodworker? Well, I, I trained uh, after high school. I went to a, a, a college called the College of the Redwoods up in Northern California, and they have a woodworking program, a uh, fine woodworking program that I was fortunate to attend, and that gave me the experience necessary uh, to plunge out on my own and uh, uh, start making uh, custom woodwork for people. And how long did you go to the school? Went there for two years. Great. Mm -hmm. And um, you know how much it was back then? Do you have a guess what it yeah. would cost today to attend that school? Back then it was probably just under $1,000 for a year tuition, and now I would say it's probably under 2500 a year. So it's very doable yeah. uh, type of thing for Quite a young reasonable. person who's interested in that. Absolutely. Were there classes in high school that uh, got you interested in woodworking? Um, yeah, I took some high school wood shop at the time that was available. Not sure if that's available at this time, but... Um, there are options like that available. Are there uh, sh shops, possibly, uh, people like yourself mm -hmm. who would either uh, have interns or possibly entry-level positions where somebody could get a little taste of woodworking? Absolutely. I've trained, uh, trained interns who have, who have had no uh, woodworking experience at all uh, and taken them um, to an experienced level. And are there personality traits of a woodworker? <laughs> well, personality traits, uh, I would say a woodworker should have a good sense of humor because sometimes we're faced with uh, challenges that uh, can be quite um, quite uh, annoying and, and time consuming and uh, can get the better of me if I don't have a good sense of humor. <laughs> That's great. That's, That's a sure. good attitude. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, how would I know whether I had the manual skills to do this type of work? Hmm. Well, um, I would say that it first has to come from a real strong interest. Um, and then with that, uh, uh, it requires a, a certain amount of physical fitness. You know, one has to be physically fit to, to lift the big pieces of timber around and so on and That's so forth. That's a good point. Aside from that, it's, you know, pretty straightforward, as long as it's not a klutzy person, but someone with a rather amount of finesse can do it. And with the you know? basic training in woodworking, uh, what other possible careers uh, might come out of that? Oh my gosh, a lot of opportunity for um, other skilled trades like um, skilled expert finishers, um, you could have a, a skilled stonemason, uh, skilled wonderful art metal workers, all kinds of different directions one could go. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And, and your work is more uh, or at least as artistic as it is functional, is that right? Well thank you and yes that's part of its uh, function is, is beauty. Um, yeah, and so I take pride in, in making something really beautiful. So, uh, any other tips for somebody who might want to uh, get started in a career in woodworking uh, or any related field? Yeah, I would say um, go, you know, Google, um, you know, custom woodworking shops, custom cabinet shops. Go in and visit them and see what kind of work they're doing and see if it's something you might uh, like to try out for yourself. Great. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today, Ken. Uh, your work is awesome, and Thank you. people can see it at KenFry.com. I believe that's the website. Thank you, Richard. Thank you so much for spending the time today. Awesome. Bye, Ken. Appreciate it.